Hello, Earth Signs. My name is Catherine. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Intuitions. This is a reading for July 13th to the 20th. So this is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. And please remember that these readings are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. What we're going to be looking into is mind, body, and spirit for the week ahead. We're also going to be looking into relationships and closing the reading off with some messages from the universe. So let's get started. We're going to um, start off with mind, body, and spirit with some clarification cards. All of the links for the decks that I'm using are down below, as well as links to my Instagram and my Facebook page for those wishing general readings or if you would just like to um, I do do I do do <laughs> I do remember sometimes free readings on Instagram as well through IGTV so here we go we're gonna get started also I just want to let you know um, we have our Earth Organite. I do make all the Organites that you do see in my videos these are all handmade by me and uh yeah here we go mind body and spirit for the week ahead for we're going to start off with capricorn for this week okay this is mind we got the princess of coins the nine of wands for body let's look into spirit i feel like this one spirit the sun all right <clears throat> capricorn so this is what i'm getting right off the bat and we're going to pull some clarification cards as well um i feel like for some of you uh you've been thinking about work uh you might be looking into new projects new ways to have doing things at work i feel like you've been actually concentrating on some sort of abundance coming to you. So work might be going really well. You might be wanting to increase that this week. You might be looking into ways of bringing more abundance to you, whether this is, now this doesn't have to do with work. It can, you know, relate to any aspect within your life. But this is what I'm getting is that you're starting to come up with new ideas, new um, possible projects, new ways of uh, bringing things to you um, but I'm also getting here with the body. I feel like some of you have been really working. Like this might have to do with overworking. It also might have to do with you've been just feeling run down. Now, remember, we're just coming out of a Mercury retrograde. So this could be affecting it. This could have to do with just feeling like you don't want. <laughs> I mean, we do have the virus going on right now. And for some of you, you might be feeling that. You might be feeling not the virus itself, but just that isolation, okay? Or wanting to isolate or make you, maybe feeling like you need to isolate a little bit more. I'm also getting here for spirit though, <clears throat> excuse me, for spirit though, we've got this sun coming in and I'm feeling like some of this energy with this nine of wands might be a little bit of past energy. So we're gonna do some clarification because with this sun coming in, what I'm getting is you're actually either heading into a better state of mind, body, and spirit, or you might have been struggling, you know, over the last couple of weeks, and now you're finally starting to, you know, feel like you wanna go out into the sun. This literally could be just like you wanting to go out into the sun. But I do feel a more positive mode for many of you at this particular moment. So let's get some clarification cards. For mind, we're getting the swan, the ant, the dove for body, guinea pig, badger, and the parrots. All right. So for mind, we have demonstrate grace and maj majesty, cooperate for the highest good of the community. So again, I feel like some of you, you might be wanting to, um, you might be wanting to, you're looking into new projects. There might be a project that you're going to be doing as a group project. Um, for some of you, you might not be extremely happy about it, but it is saying to enter it with grace here is what I'm getting. But I do feel that for some of you, you might be looking into other career options. You might also be wanting to increase 
somehow your your business okay so you might be looking at promotion maybe you're all thinking about opening up something of your own but it is saying here at the moment to allow this cooperation to come through now this cooperation doesn't always need to be with other people especially if you know you're, you work on your own or um but i do feel allow what i'm really getting here is to allow the messages to come through so if you're looking at how do i do something or how do i create this or how do i manifest this i'm feeling that information is going to come through for you i'm also getting here this we've got this metatron's cube here going on um and, and it says to, you know for the highest good so one of the things to really look at is I feel like the message for you, when we're looking into increasing our own personal wealth, okay, uh, in whichever area it is that it applies to, one of the things we can do and one of the things that really increases abundance, abundance or especially if we're searching for an answer in some way is asking, how do we bring it in for the highest good? Because when we put ourselves into that mindset, what happens is the universe automatically opens up for us. It allows those messages to come through on a quicker level. So let's say you're thinking about starting um, self-employment, just as an example. Asking how this will benefit others for the highest good. Not only your own personal wealth and your own personal well-being, allowing that or asking that question really does bring in through that answer okay now we've got this nine of wands energy and with that we've got the dove as a clarification we've got spread messages of peace and harmony and we've also got the guinea pig do your part to illuminate the universe so i feel see the interesting thing is all of these cards are really saying especially for the mind and body at this moment it's really saying you know to there might be some volunteer work that you're, you've been thinking about. For some of you, you might be looking at ways, how do I help? Like, I'm, I'm really in a blessed state. How do I help, okay? How do I help others? How do I bring good to that world? And even if you're not in the best of states, sometimes doing things for others without expecting really allows, again, that universe to open up and brings in more abundance toward us. I feel like with this nine of wands, you know, there's a little bit of defense going on. And again, I felt like this had more to do with maybe you felt like you've had to defend yourself in some manner. This actually could have to do with some sort of uh, co-worker situation or a work situation. Again, take it as it resonates with you. But this could have to do, you know, with just things, the way things are in the world right now. And I feel like keep walking through with grace, keep looking or even responding or talking to people in that manner of what is for the better good. Okay. Allow your own light to start illuminating is what I'm really getting for this week. So we've got the sun coming through and it's interesting because we do have the sun when we're talking about illuminating and this is that spirit. And I feel like this is to be you for this week allow yourself to illuminate this week allow yourself to reach towards that higher good okay allow yourself to spread that joy allow yourself to release these things that you were felt like you were maybe possibly defending yourself from in some way and this could even be within yourself defending yourself from yourself and what i mean by that is sometimes you know we don't want to delve into our own issues or maybe our own problems or questions simply because we don't want to see the full answer. But if we look at that answer, the, light, the answer that may come, it may not be always the answer that we want, but it, if you allow it to come through with that peace and harmony from your guides, from your angels, from the universe, it does help to illuminate us. And it allows us to lower our defenses in order to shine from inside that's what i'm getting so we've got this badger and it says bring your life into balance so it might be even talking about all of this might be ways of bringing your life into balance if you felt a little bit out of balance especially with this nine of wands energy coming through and it also talks about listen intently to understand okay so even though we sometimes don't always appreciate the messages that are coming through or maybe they're not exactly what it is that we want to hear allow ourselves to listen to them allow ourselves to release 
the things that we're hanging on to it because again sometimes that nine of wands it's sort of a defensive card it's a card that's saying look at you know i'm i'm putting up my boundaries i'm not listening i don't want to listen i don't maybe don't want to listen to these messages or i don't want to listen to you know things from inside of myself or things externally I, i'm defending myself against that but it's really saying here is to allow that to come through in order for this sun in order for that illumination that is going to bring you and help you bring that life into balance okay this is what i feel i feel like this if you're wondering how do i bring my life into balance how do i make things uh you know i'm, I'm struggling with work i'm struggling with my love life i'm struggling with this whatever area it is that you're struggling with allow yourself to focus in on it this week and really listen to those messages okay that are coming through so let's take a look at your relationships for the upcoming week Relationships for Capricorn. What does the universe have for relationships for Capricorn for the upcoming week? Now, remember, this doesn't always need to be romance, okay? This can be relationships, co workers, friends, family. Take it as it resonates. one honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay i like that <laughs> wedding all right then okay the universe is telling us something so we're, we're going to take a look at that for sure and passion all right so i mean these are these are amazing cards so some of you you know you might be married maybe you're thinking about you know a, a second honeymoon maybe some of you are upcoming you know, planning a wedding going on here. Let's get some clarification cards and see what the universe has to say in regards to, um, I'm just finding my cards. Where did I put them? Here we go. All right, let's get some clarification in regards to these. Those are like, those are like the three top you know, um, romance cards in the deck pretty much, except for maybe possibly soulmate, but that's, that's a pretty good week. It's looking. Okay. So let's see what honeymoon has to do with for our Capricorn. And it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Two of wands. You might be making some decisions, eight of coins and the star. All right. So I really like these cards. What I'm getting here, Capricorn is I feel like for some of you, you know, it, you might be planning something, okay? This eight of coins, you might be actually planning a honeymoon, a holiday of some sort. Now I know, you know, travel to some degree is restricted, you know, in many, many places, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy a honeymoon or a holiday of some sort, even if you're single at this particular point for yourself. I'm really getting here is to, allow yourself make some choices is what i'm also you know getting here with this two of wands you might have a couple of choices that are upcoming all right um again you might be thinking of how do i i feel like for singles you might have some choices in regards to who you can imagine yourself on this honeymoon or possibly a wedding with like if you're looking at a couple of choices for future partners or if there's nobody if there's nobody you know like a person of interest currently i'm feeling but you're wanting to bring one in i'm also getting here that for some of you take a look at which path is the best for you take a look at who is the best path for you okay or look at the qualities what qualities do you really want within somebody in order to bring this honeymoon wedding and passion closest? Okay, that's what I'm getting. With this star card, I'm really liking that. Um, I'm feeling that there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of potentials for you. For those of you that are in relationships, though, I'm feeling like your relationship at this moment is almost in a honeymoon stage. I'm really feeling like there's this bliss 
that is b between you and your partner at this moment. I feel like we both have been really working towards creating a relationship that is going to be positive and happy and blissful for the both of you is what I'm getting. This star card coming through, again, that potential, it feels like there's the potential within this relationship in order to go through that wedding or maybe you are, again, you know, if you're possibly married already, but it feels like you guys are working towards something as a couple, okay? You're working towards a goal together is what I'm getting. With this wedding card, we've got the Queen of Coins, beautiful, the Seven of Coins, and the Seven of Cups. So it feels like for some of you, you may be in this stage where, you know, when I felt that for some of you, um, even if you don't have a person of interest or there maybe there is a person of interest, but you know, you're, you're not really seeing the two of you come together at this particular point in time. What I'm getting from this is I feel like this queen of coins, like your person is thinking of you as this queen of coins, somebody who is stable and emotionally round, grounded and it, just a positive nurturing type of person and if again if you don't have somebody that is that you have a person of interest i feel like this is the person that you're striving to be to be become within this week like you're you're striving to reach that goal of this queen of pentacles and what i'm also getting here um that seven of coins so we've got that seven of coins we've got the seven of cups it feels like you're, you know, this is like a daydream. You're planning, you're, you're planning. You have these options in your head. You might have these fantasies even in your head at this current time. Where is it that I want to go? Where do I want to be? You know, who do I want to be with? Can I make this happen? I feel like these are strong manifestation cards at this moment. And it says even here, really start making your decisions. Start making those paths. Start making the you know, the choices between the past that you may have, even if it's only one person, if you're not seeing the progress within a particular person, maybe it's time to either really work on the manifestation of what it is that you want instead of focusing on the negative is what I'm also getting here as well. Allow yourself to really focus in on what is it that I want to bring in? How do I want to bring them in? What is it that I can see in within the future? I'm getting a lot of these fantasy, you know, this fantasy card, the star card with showing the potential. Um, time to kind of also get your head out of the clouds and start making some actual tangible plans for your own future is what I'm I'm getting here within relationships. I feel like there is somebody for for some of you that you do feel this um you could see this next step with this honeymoon or this wedding is what I'm getting here. What I'm also receiving is that if you have been in any sort of negative place it's time to start fantasizing or really manifesting what it is that you want to bring in. But I'm also getting here that for some of you, your person has been manifesting this about you. This Queen of Coins card coming through, this is such a an earth energy card. And what it's really talking about here is I feel like for some of you, your person or a potential partner some in some manner has been thinking of you in this honeymoon and wedding um fantasy they've they've this is what they want this is what they they're desiring okay we've got that again that seven of coins that seven of cups it really feels like for some of you this is going to be a very good week uh romantically is what i'm getting i feel like a, a lot of stronger bonds being built i feel a lot of manifestation whether from your person of interest or yourself I feel that you're being looked at very, very favorably by not only maybe your partner, but people around you. This is a very grounding card. This is what I'm getting here. I really like this Cap uh, Capricorn. Let's look at Passion and the Magician, the Tower, and the Four of Wands. Oh my God. Okay. So exactly as I said before, remember when we talked about letting go of the negative? This is what needs to happen this week. So in order to reach your level of what it is that you're desiring for the future, 
okay? Wedding and honeymoon don't need to be literal, you know, uh, end points. But, but I do feel that, you know, they might be close to what it is that you're fantasizing about or wanting to bring within your life. What it's really saying is here, you have to let go. Let go of these old beliefs that you may have, these old mindsets, these old thoughts. Really start allowing yourself to fantasize about what it is that you want for that future. Bring it forward because this, with this magician card coming through, you have the power, the star, the four of wands, you have the power to fulfill that dream. Okay, this four of wands, this is, this is like completion. Okay, usually it can be completion with another person. This is like the soulmate card. Okay, or the wedding card. Let's, let's, let's call it that. And I really feel like this, put your passion into it, put your, you know, put all of your heart into what it is that you're desiring this week is what I'm getting. And I feel your person has been doing this as well. It almost feels like they're waiting. I hear the word waiting. They're waiting for you to put that passion into it as well. Now, this might not be on a physical level. This could very well be on a, um, a 5D level, okay? So this is like a spiritual level where they're waiting for you to drop the old habits, the old things that you, you no longer need. Okay, the old mindsets with that tower. Allow yourself to go down to the ashes and rebuild that absolute fantasy that it is that you're desiring this week. I feel like this is going to be a very strong, strong week for you Capricorns to manifest your desires. So we're going to look into a closing card from the universe and see what it has to say. And also get a clarification card. I feel like this is such a strong week for you, Capricorns. I really do. It's like you're putting new passion, new excitement into something. It's like you're even that collaboration, okay? Uh, you, you know, the when we looked into the mind cards, that collaboration that I felt. Um, <clears throat> this can be collaborating with your person on a spiritual level. Okay, even if you're not seeing the results on a material or earth level at this point, that 3D level, I feel like this week is going to be strong for manifesting within that 5D level in order to bring it into that 3D level. Okay, so even if you're not seeing results of anything, just know that putting that energy towards it, that illumination from the sun card is starting to create what it is that you're desiring for the future, okay? And I don't feel it's a very far future at all. So with this, it says the crane bag, sacred ocean, medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice. Yeah, declutter your mind, Capricorn. This is what I'm getting, declutter your mind. Get rid of all the old garbage that you no longer need and allow new and fresh perspectives to come through. That's what I'm getting, especially with that you know, as, as a card from the universe, this is what I'm getting. So we had two of them come out and it says prosperity. Your actions have resulted in incoming abundance. Yep. As soon as you start to declutter your mind, you're allowing that prosperity to come through. You're allowing that prosperity to flow. I love this. And the last one here is daily practice. The more you practice the new skills, the more comfortable and confident you're going to become. So let's just say you do have trouble decluttering your mind of things that you don't need okay or things that you don't want or you know thoughts or behaviors whatever it is that you feel are maybe holding you back because we have that nine of wands and that sort of defense like holding yourself back from receiving is what I'm also getting here the more that you practice the more that you put that energy into it you're going to bring in more energy so even if things don't manifest immediately overnight Please remember that as you continue doing this, as you declutter, it's almost like a circle. Declutter and fill yourself up with beautiful, wonderful, amazing thoughts. And declutter and fill. Declutter and fill. Okay? And the more that you're filling with these thoughts of that prosperity, the more you're decluttering your mind of 
junk that you no longer need, the, the things that are holding you back, the things that are keeping you, you know, from manifesting your, your dreams and your desires. Keep bringing in that prosperity, those thoughts of prosperity, especially with that magician. You've got all the tools. You can do it. You can allow this to happen and to reach that place of illumination, not only with what it is that you're desiring, but also within yourself. So I truly hope that this has helped Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe if this does resonate with you. And the next one we're going to is going to be Virgo. Virgo, this is your weekly reading for the week of July 13th to the 20th. So we're going to be looking into mind, body, spirit. Uh, romance and we're going to be closing it off with some messages from the universe so this is for all Virgos uh, Sun Moon rising and Venus and I do welcome any cross watchers as well all right. if you're checking into your person of interest here we go Let's shuffle these up I do have links for all the cards that I'm using down below in the description box, as well as links to my Instagram, Facebook, and website. Okay. Um, Virgos. Okay, so you're either coming out of some energy that has been really difficult for you this last week, or you're about to head into some energy of releasing this next week, okay? I do feel that for some of you, uh, you may have had a difficult couple of weeks is what I'm, what I'm picking up here. It may even be as much as five weeks with this Five of Swords energy coming through. Um, five days, five weeks. Take that as it resonates. I feel there may have been a loss for some of you um, and I feel like this is either a loss of something um, or this could be that you're about to release something this is what I'm getting um, this six of coins energy though I do feel that things are going to be better for you going into this next week I feel I'm really getting that this is a lot of past energy that you're allowing to release now okay I do feel that there has been some sort of sense of heartbreak that's come through here something that hasn't been fair or a feeling of you know that feeling that you haven't felt it was fair um, there could this could be an energy of another person it could have been you know even from in your in your mind like the universe that it, it there's there's something here that deeply affected you in some manner a lot of releasing okay a lot of an ending okay this could be an actual ending uh within the, i really feel like for some of you this has been like a, a physical ending of some some sort this may have been an ending within uh, some sort of relationship this could be an ending of you know, job, career, whatever it was, or at least that feeling like you're ready to move on from it. So you're allowing it to release, okay? But the six of coins coming through, so I feel like something is coming towards you in a more positive manner. I feel like even though you went through all of this, this negative um, energy, this, this, oh, you know, I, I look at these cards and I'm just, I feel a little bit heartbroken for some of you. Um, but it is saying here, like the universe is what I'm getting. This is spirit. And I feel like spirit is going to be giving you, giving you something to hang on to in a more positive manner. Something is going to be coming through that is giving you that sense, like restoring is what I keep getting. That word restoring. This is going to be a restoring week for, for some of you Virgos. I feel like for many of you Virgos that this is going to be happening. Okay. Um, something is coming through with that. Now this could be on an act from an actual physical person. This could be some sort of gift from the universe. I mean, either way, it's going to be a gift from the universe, depending on how it just, it just depends on how it shows up. Right. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm really getting a lot of sad energy here. Um, it may have even been the ending of an illusion 
that you may have had somewhere with inside of you, like you're ready to move on, you're ready to take a next step. But this universe card coming through and bringing this towards you is really saying, look, I know it feels like things have ended or there has been an ending of some sort, but there's going to, because of this ending, there is a gift of some sort coming towards you, whether this is peace within your spirit, whether this is actual some sort of physical gift that is coming towards you from another person or just from within yourself or, you know, um, from the universe, there is going to be some sort of, I feel like a reward, restitution, um, like I said, rejuvenation. Like it just feels like something else is coming through. So we're going to get some clarifying cards in regards to that Five of Swords energy. The Ten of Swords. And that Six of Coins. So looking into that Five of Swords energy, we have the Dove. And it says, spread messages of peace and harmony. And the kingfisher be patient and focus you know what i'm getting here for you virgo is even though you may feel that something was unfair or maybe somebody even did you know actually there was some sort of unfairness that was turned towards you i'm saying I, i'm feeling here that now is also the time to really look in um and and try to maintain that element of peace and love and harmony. Be patient, focused. I'm really feeling here that this is going to be important for that moving on into the future. I feel like this week, even though you're struggling, you may be struggling to let go of some negative feelings. I'm feeling though this, you know, I, I feel like I'm really getting here that even though something was done unfairly towards you, now is not the time to return that, okay? So try to remove yourself from that place of negativity, that place that you're feeling, you know, just, I feel like some of you literally feel like you're a little bit sunken into the ground, okay? We've got that 10 of swords energy, but I just feel like you're sunken, like you're, it's hard for you to get up. And I'm, I'm getting here too, is it also says with the bee, spread heart, feeling, and joy. And with the cow, give with unconditional love and grace. So whatever it was that that was taken, or, you know, and again, this doesn't need to be on a physical level for some of you. This may be within yourself. It may be, you know, some sort of unfairness that you feel is coming from the universe or came from the universe in some manner. It's really telling you here that uh, I, I feel like for some of you, I feel like there's some sort of blessing behind it. And I don't mean that the event was a blessing, but I feel like be grateful for the experience that you had at the time and allow it to be released. So if this has to do with a physical person or a physical thing that there was a loss of, I feel like give blessing, give grace to that, that thing and allow it allow that energy to be released with grace and love and harmony okay now we've got the six of coins coming through and this swan what it's saying here is demonstrate again grace and majesty and with the bear use power with wisdom so with this six of coins i do feel like there is some sort of gift coming towards you and i feel like you're, it's time for you to accept it with grace okay use power with wisdom so what i'm getting with this card is sometimes we receive a blessing sometimes a blessing is in disguise you might not look at it completely as a blessing at that particular moment but it turns into a blessing and i feel that as this gift of some sort is coming to you and this might be an actual you know material gift of some sort this might be a spiritual gift because we it is under spirit um and this could be a sense of peace, it could be a sense of harmony, it could be something that you had been trying to manifest and maybe you had lost hope for at some point. It is saying here to accept it with grace and harmony and instead of like use, use your wisdom when accepting it. So a lot of times we receive a gift and we don't always accept it. Okay, because we might be stuck in this mindset, this five of swords, this ten of swords energy, which is negative and ending and it, it, it's a broken energy. 
okay? And sometimes if we're stuck in that energy, we're not accepting the gifts that are coming for, you know, towards us with that wisdom of re recognizing the fact that there are gifts in some manner. Okay, this is what I'm this is what I'm receiving for this upcoming week. I feel like something is coming towards you and, and something even though it may have ended. Okay, remember that everything remains with us in spirit of some sort. Okay, so if this was a physical ending of some sort, allow it. I would allow that energy. Remember that unconditional love that you had toward it and, and be grateful for the time that you were able to spend with it is what I'm receiving here. For some of you, this may have been an actual loved one that has passed over. Um, and, and what I'm getting here is to allow, allow those blessings of that time spent with that person. Remember the grace and the harmony. Remember that unconditional love that the universe is trying to give us even through this message here. Okay, I feel that for some of you, again, you know, use that power with wisdom. Try to remove that energy that is, you know, bringing you into this, this Ten of Swords energy. If you look at the card, you know, you have the sunrise in the back. So even though she feels like she's down into the mud, she's, you know, down into the ground, pushed, you know, and these swords are holding her down. This sunrise is coming up and that's where that gift comes in. But we do need to release those energy, those feelings that are bringing us into this place of feeling like we're just broken. Okay. Try to look at them. Try to remember the graces that, you know, the universe has given us. Those blessings that the universe has passed towards us. Really accept them and take them with that unconditional love that the universe has gifted it to you in that manner okay so that's what i'm getting just for this week uh virgo i know it sounds like it might be in you know a more negative obviously which you know it's but again i'm getting this this beautiful energy of some sort of gift coming towards you within this week in some manner some way somehow you're going to feel that unconditional love from God, from the universe. So we're going to look into relationships now for this upcoming week and seeing what's coming through. I feel this one right away. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So, okay, Virgo, what I'm getting here is that ending, it may possibly have done, you know, been because of some sort of relationship here. Um, I feel that for some of you, that ending or that feeling, that Ten of Swords feeling, it may not have actually been the energy of the ending, okay? Some of you might be just feeling that there's been a disconnect within the energy and you're in that Ten of Swords energy of feeling like this is done, this is done and you know, this is over and all of that stuff and that very well may be. But what it is also saying here is that to make that effort, maybe, um, because I do feel that gift coming through. So for some of you, this is really going to resonate. I feel like making that effort towards something, towards that person, that person of interest, maybe that person is going to be making that effort towards you. Okay. And that could be that gift that is coming through, but it does say that you have to accept it. You have to be in this place of loving yourself first. You have to release that energy where you're, there's a bit of feeling sorry for yourself okay and you know in, in in some ways that is very justified but in the other way if you stay within that energy you're also not going to be able, I'm using the wrong deck you're also not going to be able to accept that gift that is coming through and then it says let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so again this could be physically with your friends family people around you that are close but I'm also getting that that gift 
is this is what it's talking about that gift from the universe so this could be very much on a spiritual level let spirit come in and help you with this situation is what i'm getting i feel like for some of you there may have been some sort of um you know when it talks about your self-respect maybe you feel like your respect isn't being acknowledged like maybe somebody is disrespecting you or they're not giving you the treatment that you deserve or it very well could be that at this particular point in time, you need to make that effort towards loving yourself first in order to bring about that element of romance that you are seeking, okay? And again, let spirit, let your friends, let those that are close to you help you with that. Allow your confidence to be renewed uh, within that. So let's take a look at, oh, I'm still using the wrong deck, I'm talking too much. Just hang on a second. All right, let's get some clarification cards for relationships for this week for Virgo. Clarification for Virgo for this upcoming week. Let's take a look at Make the Effort. Princess of Swords, the Hangman. And then, yeah, so there's been some sort of actual, de you know, transformation here. This death card is coming through. This very well could have been some sort of ending in a relationship of some sort. Um, now, it, again, it doesn't need to be with a particular person. Um, it can be within, you know, spirit of some way. It could be within yourself. But I do feel like at this point in time, you really need to go in, really evaluate, allow yourself to transform, make that effort is what it's saying here. Make that effort, this princess of swords coming in, this page of swords energy. I feel like there's some cutting away of things that are no longer necessary for you. And I do feel that some of it is within some sort of pain or some sort of suffering or some sort of dif disappointment that you had experienced in some way. But it's very important that you allow yourself to go in and really contemplate, really take a look inside, go deep, allow yourself to go deep and allow yourself to transform that energy, okay? Uh, we're looking at love yourself first. We've got, yeah, this four of cups, the three of wands, and the knight of wands. So I, li I actually like this because it feels what I'm getting here is once you go through this transformation, you allow yourself to release and renew, okay? This four of cups energy, somebody may have turned away on some sort of effort that you gave towards a relationship is what I'm getting here. Um, they may not be looking at the benefits of this relationship. They might be turning their back toward a little bit right now at this time. Um, but what spirit is telling you is that even if that is the case, it is also saying here, charge forward with renewed energy. Okay. Again, allow yourself to transform. I feel like this isn't the ending of a relationship for some of you, even though it is the ending of a relationship. Somebody might have said, look at, I'm not ready. I'm not in that place at this particular point in time. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing whatever I need to heal. I need to work on myself. I need some space, whatever, whatever it is that they're saying. It's saying here for you, to take that time for yourself as well, okay? I don't feel like if this is a person-to-person -person relationship where there hasn't been an actual physical death, what I'm getting here is that there is going to be a renewal of this relationship. This Knight of Wands, this new energy coming forward and charging forward. I see this Three of Wands. Now, this can relate to you. It can also relate to your person, but I feel like at look forward to the future. And I feel like this person is looking forward to a future with you as well. It's not completely ending, but it does need to transform its energy in some way. And I feel that because this is the end of the Mercury retrograde, that there's going to be a lot of direct communication is what I'm also getting. Okay. We've got, you know, this page of swords, we've got this knight of wands. For me, what I'm getting here is get yourself into this place where you're loving yourself. You're not, you're not wallowing because that self-respect that can actually play through when we're wallowing in the loss of something, or when we feel that somebody's not giving us the attention it is that we, we particularly want or that we deserve. 
okay? And it, it's really talking about your own self-respect. So it's kind of like pick yourself up, go into that energy, transform that energy, and allow this energy to renew and rejuvenate is what I'm getting. And let your friends help you. So we've got the Knight of Coins. That Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Interesting. So what I'm getting here for this. Um, you know how we talked about I don't feel like this is the end of a relationship. Unless you choose it to be so. Uh, this Seven of Wands and this Knight of Coins. I feel for some of you. I'm feeling that for some of you, you felt like you were almost competing. Uh, but I'm not getting that it's a competition really with other people. It's almost like a competition within yourself. Like you need to really release those negative thoughts and allow yourself to look at the situation in its reality as opposed to its fantasy, okay? And that's what we're getting with the Seven of Cups. Look at it as it truly is as opposed to what your head is making of it. Because sometimes even when somebody says, look at, I, I need to work on myself, I need some space, I need whatever it is, we tend to, you know, give it that 10 of swords energy and it's just, okay, it's done, you know, this is what they meant, they're telling me to screw off, they want nothing more to do with me, yada, yada. And we make up all of these scenarios within our mind of what we think is actually going on when really, what it's doing is it's just allowing us to take some time to ourselves, to renew our own energy, to transform, to allow a situation to heal in order to bring it back together. So what it's really saying here is this help and support is really coming in from the universe too. You know, or you might even have a very direct friend that tells you, hey, look, it's snap out of it. But what I'm getting here is this this help coming in is for that transformation in order to create a better and more stable relationship okay whether it's with this person or whether it's with another person this is what i'm getting but it is going to be progressive it is going to come forward the knight of coins is not a fast energy this is the slowest energy um that that's in within the deck to be honest but what happens I love one of the things I love about the Knight of Coins is it it is slow, but it's progressive and it's solid. He doesn't make snap decisions. Okay, so if this is your person who's saying, "Look, at I need some space, I need some time, I need to figure some things out," what I'm getting here is this is actually a blessing towards you because it means that they're actually taking this seriously. They're taking a look at something within themselves as well in order to make this relationship progressive and strong and grounded, okay? Because when this knight is moving forward, it's not fast. He's not one of those fairy tale type of guys, you know, the guys that are like, Oh, hey, you know, let me take you to the Bahamas and going to throw all kinds of money at you. And I love you, even though we've only just gone for coffee and you're the most important thing in my life. And I want to get married tomorrow. Right. Because those never work out. I mean, maybe 0.1001% of those relationships work out. This guy, I feel, is solid. This is a solid person. And I feel like they are trying to take some time in order to resolve whatever internal issues that they have within themselves. They're trying to love themselves first in order to bring you that love that it is that you need and you deserve. That's what I'm getting. So that Seven of Wands energy is you don't feel like you need to compete or fight now for singles. Maybe there is no other person around at this particular point in time. I'm getting the same thing. Go within yourself. Allow yourself to transform. Don't feel like you're in any sort of competition. There's no rush in order to bring this forward. But I do feel within this Seven of Cups is to really take a look at things as in reality as opposed to fantasy. So don't make up scenarios with your head, things that didn't happen. Okay, sometimes, you know, somebody says something to us and we just take it in a, a whole different manner than what it was meant. And we start creating all kinds of havoc in our heads. And that's what this is really saying. I feel like 
um, the other thing I'm feeling is to take that seven of cups and really look at it as what is it that you want to create and allow that energy to come in and transform and be created as well. So we're going to close this off with a message from the universe. And I hope that that made sense for you, Virgo, because I really do feel like this is going to be a very transformative week for you. Okay, this is going to be, you know, you may have gone through some struggles, you may have gone through some, you know, something really difficult. But I do feel, I do feel there is going to be some sort of gift or blessing that is coming towards you. Things aren't always as they seem is the message that I keep getting for you. Okay, so let's look into, let's get a message from the universe. Let's just take one. All right. And right away I'm feeling this one. <laughs> okay, I cannot make this up. Okay, <laughs> like, uh, this is why I love pulling the cards on camera because the present gift, treasure, revelation of one's own value and nowness. Okay, so not only does it talk about the present, look at things as the present terms. Don't sit there and again make up, you know, things within your head, things that didn't happen, things that you know aren't aren't true at this particular mo moment in time especially with that seven of cups fantasy but i'm also getting a present like i said a present coming in from the universe in some manner and that's exactly what um you know the, the cards are saying some sort of present i feel like there is some sort of blessing that is coming to you either within this week virgo or it is going to be you know within this time period like like i feel very quickly if it's not in this week it'll be shortly after this might be the build up towards that present and, and this is the time to get yourself into that positive mindset okay release those you know release those negative energies that you were holding on to so let's get a clarification card in regards ask for what you want On, like literally we cannot make this up this is amazing clear communication with yourself with god and with others helps you avoid misunderstandings and speaks speeds up the process of answered prayers okay <laughs> do we need to explain that it's exactly what i just said this whole reading you know share your art with the world it's time to allow others to enjoy your creative work so in some way this this could have to do if you are creative or an artist of some sort it is telling you this might actually be um a way for you to take your mind off of your problems at this moment it's allowing yourself to remove that negative energy that's within you and allow yourself to receive positive energy by creating something at this particular point in time okay now again this creation could be in in creating what it is that you truly want that clear communication clearly state what it is that you want with god you know that you want god or the universe to bring you ask for it very clear um you know avoid that misunderstandings you know allow yourself that energy of bringing forth your manifestations now for some of you again this might be really a way in order to distract yourself um or allow yourself to heal while you're going through this process okay so if there is some sort of art um now this doesn't need to be actual art but hobby craft maybe there's you know sports whatever it is allow yourself to focus in on that rather than what is you know uh that fantasy that you kind of had in your head or maybe if somebody is taking a step back at this particular point in time and you need to heal i feel that for some of you this art this way of expressing yourself in another form is going to be the path towards your healing okay so i truly hope that that has helped virgo thank you so much for watch, watching please like uh please click like 
subscribe, share if this resonated with you. I truly appreciate you watching and the next sign we're going to be doing is Taurus. Taurus, welcome. This is your reading for July 13th to the 20th. This is for uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And any cross watchers, welcome. Please remember that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone. We are looking into mind, body, spirit. We're going to be doing some uh, checking into relationships as well as, I'm making a mess here, as well as some clarific uh, cards from the universe as well. All right, so let's start off with mind, body, and spirit for Taurus. All the links to the cards that I'm using are down below in the description box, as well as links to my website, Instagram, and Facebook page. I do do free readings on Instagram, so please check me out there as well. Mind, body, and spirit for Taurus. The Taurus words for mind. We've got the judgment for body, and we have the five of cups for spirit. So for some of you Tauruses, <clears throat> I feel like you're in the energy of some sort of rebirth is what I'm getting. Okay, and this could be affecting your mind and your body. I feel like there is a rebirth that is coming towards you. For some of you, you may have been making decisions. For some of you, I'm literally feeling... Like you need to take off this blindfold and see that sunset or that sunrise in front of you. Okay, you may have been in this crossroads of do I do this or do I do that? But the answer is what I'm getting is right in front of you. Okay, we're going to get some clarification cards. But because of this, I feel like during this process, this rebirthing process, I feel like the rebirth is trying to come in, this transformation of some sort, this judgment. You may have also been judging yourself or others at this particular time, but I do feel like you are receiving messages from spirit, but you haven't really been listening. If you look at her blindfold, she's actually even got her ears covered, so she's not only not looking, but she's not hearing the messages, and that has to, for some of you, maybe brought you into some sort of place of sadness okay and you, I feel like for some of you too now this could be a um, past energy you know and so for this week I feel like for some of you there might be that transformation where that blindfold is going to be coming off for some of you and you're going to see that sunset or that sunrise this beautiful um, rebirthing energy I feel like this is a sunrise this new rebirth that is going to be coming for you within this week okay and you're going to be removing yourself out of that five of cups energy but you have to allow it to release as well okay that five of cups talks about you know looking at the cups that are spilled as opposed to the ones that are still upright okay and you may have been focusing in on what is wrong what is wrong you know what these this isn't working how come I'm feeling in this energy you know but you, you really just literally need to take off that blindfold and see what is straight in front of you that happiness that sunrise okay and I feel like for some of you you've been distracting yourself with things that you're not needing to be distracting yourself with is what I'm getting so let's look into the uh, two of swords for clarification we've got the dove which is spread messages of peace and harmony <clears throat> the swan demonstrate grace and m m majesty and the giraffe giraffe <clears throat> excuse me aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom Okay, so with this Two of Swords energy, you know, if for some of you, you may have actually, because of this place that you were in, this Five of Cups energy, you may have also been giving that energy, that five, that negative type of sad energy to others. Like if we're, if our energy fields are stuck in this place of, um, yucky despair, we're not not only not allowing ourselves to see clearly but sometimes we are, we are holding other people back from that as well because they're stuck within our energy and not moving themselves out as well so it really says you know spread messages of of peace and harmony like allow yourself even though you're stuck in this energy you don't need to be passing it on to others is what i'm getting and then you know demonstrate grace and maj majesty okay so people are looking up to you <clears throat> 
is what I'm getting. People are looking up to you as well. There's, this could be people around you. This actually could be your soul, okay? Your inner self is saying, look it, I'm stuck within this Five of Cups energy. I need to move out of it, start moving forward with grace and majestic, okay? Be majestic, be loving. Okay, even though you're stuck in this energy, allow this is going to help you remove that. This draft, aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. Allow yourself again to hear the messages that are coming through because I do feel that messages have been trying to penetrate into you, into your soul, but you're not listening at this point in time. This cat is coming in. Be relaxed and independent see through illusion into the truth and the guinea pig do your part to illuminate the universe you know it feels like for some of you this energy might be um now i'm not i'm not going to downplay anybody's you know if somebody's going through a really hard time at this point i'm not going to downplay that because that can you know that can definitely bring you into that five of cups energy but what I'm also getting here is to see through the illusion into the truth. Why did this happen? You know, oh, it's a bat, not a cat. Um, oh no, there's the cat. Okay, never mind. Um, allow yourself to look at the situation as it truly is, as opposed to what, you know, like I said, she's, she's closed off her eyes, she's closed off her ears, she's knocking herself out from the world. She's just not paying attention. She's not paying attention to, even though that truth, that judgment card is trying to come through. It's trying, you can even, it's like this woman is trying to, this angel is trying to give her that truth. She's not listening. She's not listening. And that's what I keep getting. And because that, that not listening is happening, that five of cups energy just keeps replaying itself. This is the spirit, okay? It's not taking a look at, see through the illusion into the truth. It's not taking a look at those two overturned cups, those cups that are still full, those cups that are still full of life and vitality and the answers that it is that you're seeking, okay? You're paying attention to these three overturned cups and that is hurting your soul at this particular point. That's what I keep getting. So it says be relaxed and independent. I feel like for some of you, there may be some sort of issue with the codependency, maybe somebody, you know, towards you or maybe you towards somebody, but it also could be that if you're stuck in this sort of this place because of another person on in some manner it is talking about maybe it is time to be independent now that doesn't mean ending a situation completely it is allowing the energy within that situation to change and heal okay and you can do that by seeing the truth by seeing what something is for what it really is as opposed to what it is that you're trying to make it within your mind is what I'm getting. Okay, do your part to illuminate the universe. So again, you know, when we're stuck in this energy, we are giving that energy to others around us. And if it is in regards to a relationship of some sort, if we're stuck in this energy, people aren't going to see us illuminate. They're not gonna see us shine because they're going to pick up on that energy of that negative those negative feelings that are coming through so changing your direction change allowing yourself to hear these messages taking off that blindfold looking into that sunlight or that sunrise that is you know trying to come up is going to illuminate that truth but it's also going to illuminate the situation it's going to help heal this rising the sun rising energy heals all is what i keep getting so for spirit we have the rhinoceros rhinosaurus <laughs> be strong and courageous yeah it does take strength to get through that sometimes the monkey experience all that life has to offer instead of sitting here in this funk in this funk like you know this is this is not good energy you don't want to stay in that <clears throat> just because you're looking at something or maybe something isn't coming out the exactly the way that you are seeing it okay or the way that you had hoped for it to be it doesn't mean that life has to stop it, it does really say experience all that life has to offer okay be strong be courageous keep moving forward at this time because things are going to clear prepare for change really 
prepare for change. Sometimes we get put into this energy because it does need there it does need to be a transformation of some sort. Some sort of transformation does need to come forth. Some sort of um there like a rebalancing of the energy, okay? And sometimes you know, a distance or again, allowing yourself to hear and see what is truly coming through allows for that change. All right. So let's take a look into relationships for you, Taurus, for this upcoming week. I hope that you understand what it is that I'm saying is I, you know, um, you know, if there was something, you know, truly tragic, um, it, it's not saying to dismiss it and not to give it, you know, it's, it's full credit and it's full due, okay? Allow yourself to grieve what it is. But at the same time, take a look at a situation for what it truly is, okay? And sometimes things are a blessing and we do need to look at those two overcupped, you know, turned, two overturned cups as opposed to just looking at the three negative, the three overturned, the ones that are spilled, okay? We need to remove those blindfolds. We need to allow ourselves to see that sunrise, that illumination, that shine that is coming through. That is going to not only help us, but others around us, okay? Now, for relationships, I get the flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I do, I feel like, the, I mean, for some of you, this very much could have to do with flirt. Um, I feel like for some of you, if there was somebody that wasn't quite seeing your energy or maybe that's where, you know, you're feeling that negativity is because somebody isn't being receptive or you, but here's the thing sometimes Taurus is sometimes we don't always put that energy towards something. We're looking at it as we want to see it as opposed to how it truly is. And I feel like changing that energy, extending some lighthearted energy instead of, you know, sitting there and wallowing in something that is not what it truly is, is going to help change a situation. All right. Now we've got make, <laughs> make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So even though you might be stuck in this energy, maybe you're feeling, well, you know, they should have been receptive to this. Maybe they, maybe the person didn't realize that you were attracted to them or maybe you weren't saying the thing that, um, maybe you were saying it in a way that they didn't understand even though you thought that you were saying it clearly. I hope that that makes sense. But... I feel like make that effort, make that effort towards what it is, but do it in a lighthearted way, okay? And reconciliation, what did we just talk about? You know, it's, it's so funny, like, I feel like for some of you, you know, this reconciliation now, it doesn't need to be particularly with, again, you know, this doesn't need to be romantic, okay? This could be relationships um, of a non-romantic nature. This could be family, friends, co-workers. It could even be within yourself. But I feel like it is time to make that effort towards it. Do it in a lighthearted way. Allow yourself. Now, when I say that, it means like to have some fun. Start having some fun. Don't take everything on such a serious matter. It doesn't need to be all or nothing. It doesn't need to be. Um, take a look at how, what kind of messages or what kind of energy are you giving towards another person is what I'm also receiving here. What kind of messages or what kind of energy are you emitting at this point in time? Okay. Because again, I feel like this reconciliation, something is happening at this time. All right. Let's get some clarifying cards in regards to a flirt. Three of Wands, start looking towards the future. Taurus, we've got that Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck in this energy, okay? You're stuck in that negative energy. It's all mental. But, and then we've got that Five of Wands. So for some of you, now the interesting thing is, is that that Nine of Wands energy, or that Nine of Swords energy. So the Five of Wands coming through, this talks about you know, some sort of battle, discord, like not getting along. There might be, I really feel like this is like tug of war, okay? Push, pull type of situation. And maybe, 
you know, you need to look at it in a different perspective instead of allowing it to be this push and pull sort of thing. Are you not, um, are you not, like, are you wanting it all? Does it have to be your way or no way is what is what I'm getting? Because that energy is also bringing you into this Nine of Swords energy. A lot of times this Nine of Swords energy is all within ourselves. So it's not, you know, it, it can emit like that energy of being paranoid okay and I'm not saying you're paranoid but it's it's basically we're not seeing things as they truly are again as opposed to what they really are so are you know are you able to you know if there's been some demands or if there's been some sort of way that you're seeing a situation I don't feel like the situation is truly as you're absolutely seeing it. And I feel like there needs to be another way of looking at it. Okay. That three of wands energy, look at it in a different way. Allow that energy to come forth. Allow that energy to transform what it is that's happening within the situation at the moment. That star card, make that effort because this there is this possibility, this reconciliation coming forward. I feel like a very positive energy. This is that heart chakra as well. We've got that green card, that heart chakra, you know, allowing ourselves to um, emit this beautiful heart loving energy you know it's interesting because we've got this five of wands with the throat chakra and what i'm getting from that is you know that there may have been some sort of argument but again i'm feeling like there may have been some sort of communication or a lack of communication that you're not looking at clearly is what i'm getting like there's something about the situation that may not have been clear okay but you're look or you're looking at it in a way that it was not meant to maybe possibly be or somebody else this could be this obviously can be reversed as well but that's what i'm getting that king of cups energy i really feel like they're supposed to be like making this effort to do this changing that energy to lighthearted is going to bring about this a stronger hold on not only your emotions but the emotions of somebody else you could be uh, you know dealing with a water sign here too this king of cups this could be you know a scorpio pisces or cancer sign but it could be just talking about um coming into the, getting a hold of having control of your emotions or this person recognizing their emotions as well as what i'm getting but this you know a star this reconciliation i feel it's just a change in the energy and then we've got the nine of cups so what it is that you want is within your reach it's within your reach but you might not be seeing it at this particular point that's what i'm that's what i'm saying so we've got the six of cups energy yeah this reconciliation that definitely this could be somebody from your past now when we talk about past it could be past could be yesterday okay so just to you know take it as it resonates this could be somebody that you have really wanted back in your life somebody that has come into your mind you know recently this reconciliation it could be somebody that you know maybe you are dealing with at this current moment that you are going through you know this push and pull this tug of war type of situation where you're not seeing or they're not seeing things as they truly are we're also getting that six of swords so we're moving away from more negative situations we're going into something it is that we truly want which is this nine of cups this is the wish card okay what it is that you wish for allow it to come through we've got this knight of swords kind of charging forward charging forward you know, it, it's interesting because he is ready to fight for what it is that he wants. Whenever I see this card, this Knight of Swords energy, but I'm feeling that within this reading, okay? So what I'm getting here is that charging forward, allowing the illusions of what it is that you thought or what it is that, you know, again, could be reversed. But I feel like changing that energy into that lighthearted, playful, having fun, just looking at things in a different perspective is going to bring about this reconciliation and it's going to come in quick is what I keep getting. It's going to come in quick. It's moving away from that troubled times and, and allowing a calmer, beautiful reconciliation energy something you know that there's a lot of love a lot of memories towards come towards you again all right so i hope that that 
uh, helped for relationships, Taurus. We're going to close it off with some messages from the universe. And see what the universe has to say. I feel like this is going to be a really strong week for you, Taurus. Like, you know, you may have been in that energy, might be possibly heading into this energy, but really keep in mind what I was saying is to release, not look at those, those overturned cups, look at the ones that are, that are full and, you know, positive and they're, they're full of love really is what I keep getting. They're full of abundance. Okay. And you have to look at those, take off that blindfold this week is what I'm really getting. So let's close it off with the card from the universe. And it says, I drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Sometimes we got to take a step back. Sometimes we have to remember that judgment card coming through. Those messages are coming through, you know, and judgment is like divine timing as well. Allow things to happen, but you have to hear the messages. Allow yourself to let go of trying to control because sometimes that five of wands energy can really emanate control. You're trying to get control of a situation, that push and pull, that tug of war. You're trying to get control of it. Let go. Let go. Have some compromise, okay, is what I'm going is what I'm hearing. Let go, allow, allow the energy to change, allow the energy to do what it needs to do in order to create that happiness, that even that reconciliation that you've been wanting or dreaming about, or allowing yourself to look at a situation, even if it's not in a um, relationship manner, allow that energy to change and allow it to form, allow it to heal. Okay, let's, let's get some clarifying cards. For a drift, we have deserving. Yes, like all God's children, you, like all God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because that Five of Cups energy as well that we had for spirit, it, it you know... It, we sometimes get into this manner when we're not seeing things form to the way that we wish or we want or we're desiring and we start blaming ourselves for things and we kind of think oh well, I'm not good enough or I'm not this or you know how is this going to happen because I don't have this whatever it is you know whatever nonsense and words that we tend to put into our heads it is saying here you are deserving let stay in that energy remember that you're deserving and allow us to show you allow this higher force to come in and take charge for a bit okay allow us to create what it is that that nine of cups energy what are you wishing put that energy towards the wish as opposed to what you don't have okay stop focusing on what you don't have and put the energy toward the wish is what i'm getting media Yes, you can reach more people by working with video, audio, print, and online media. So I feel like for some of you that might um, resonate very strongly, you might be in that feel, maybe, you know, maybe you were even a YouTuber or something like that. I feel like right now is a time, um, I'm also getting that for some of you, it's a time for journaling. So taking that energy of where you were, you're, you're not feeling the most positive start journaling it in some way now whether this is you know you can do it through video audio print whatever but I do feel like journaling for some of you will help really release that energy allow it you know allow yourself to put those words onto some sort of print or media or video audio and just release it because once we release it from within ourselves when we put it on to something on a physical manner it really does help release it to the universe and we don't sit there and sort of wallow within that energy anymore we're allowing instead of it bubbling inside of us we're releasing it okay so i truly hope that that has helped thank you to all the earth signs have a wonderful week please click like subscribe and share my video if this did resonate with you Thank you so much. Take care.